हेलो फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सीरियल इन पैरल आउट शिफ्ट रजिस्टर इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सीरियल इन सीरियल आउट शिफ्ट रजिस्टर वेयर इन वी कनेक्टेड द सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इनपुट वाज सीरियल इन एंड आउटपुट वाज टेकन फ्रॉम एल एस बी फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड दिस वॉज द पॉइंट फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैव बिन टेकिंग आउटपुट नाउ वी हैव बिन टेकिंग आउटपुट फ्रॉम नाउ बिकॉज दिस इज अ केस ऑफ सीरियल इन पैरल आउट सो ईच फ्लिप फ्लॉप इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द आउटपुट सो आउटपुट नाव इज नॉट इन सीरियल फैशन रादर parallel output so this is the output table now previously output was also written like input but now output is a table and let's understand about this table this indicate what is available at input d2 d1 and d0 before clock edge comes so this is that table and this is timing diagram the significance of timing diagram is this indicates how the working of this network or signal flow is indicated in the form of a diagram so this is a kind of signal flow diagram this is called timing diagram with the passage of time uh, where and when the signal is reaching this is indicated by the timing diagram and this is the data we are talking about 101101 which we have been putting at the serial input terminal so now let us find out that initially all the flip flops are reset uh, it is considered that we have been assuming delay flip flop delay flip flop 2 delay flip flop 1 and delay flip flop 0 and all of them are connected in this fashion this connection fashion is same as that of serial in serial out shift register only difference is here output we are observing is for each flip flop now let us say initially q2 q1 q0 is all zero and this is output of each flip flop initially now once initial output is written for each flip flop then second step is what is available at input of each flip flop before rising edge first clock edge before first clock edge so this will be before clock edge comes data here will be 1 and data here is 0 data here is 0 so this will be 1 0 0 now hit this data is 1 this data is 0 this data is 0 this is the data available at input of each flip flop each delay flip flop what will be data at the output of each flip flop after rising edge of the clock is over so this same data will reach on to output side like this so after this clock edge comes here output will be 1 here output will be 0 and here output will be 0 so this will be 1 0 0 now let us put it in the output table now next will be again what is data available at input of each flip flop this one is reached here the zero is reached here the zero was reached there now what is available at input of each flip flop before second clock edge the zero will come here now the zero will come here this one will come here and the zero will come here before rising edge of the clock because it is interconnected so whatever is here will reach here right so this is zero one zero so let us write 0 1 0 okay if 0 1 0 is input of each flip flop what will be output of each flip flop after rising second edge of the clock after this clock so it will be 0 1 0 at the output side so 0 this 0 will go there this 1 will come here and this 0 will go 0 will go there so 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 will be output after second clock edge 0 1 0 0 now again the same question what is available at input of each flip flop before third clock edge so before third clock edge this one will come here zero will reach here and this one will reach here okay so 1 0 1 
one zero one. So one zero one will be at input of respective flip flop. One zero one. What will be output of respective flip flop after clock edge is over? One zero one only. So this will be one zero. And this is one. So you write it here one zero one. So this will reach here as one. This will reach here as zero, and this will reach here as one. Now again, same question. What is available at input of each flip flop before fourth clock edge comes? So before fourth clock edge, here it will be one. This one will reach here. The zero will reach here, right? So this will be one, one, zero, one, one, zero. If one, one, zero is at the input of D two, D one, and D zero, what will be output after fourth clock edge? It will be one, one, zero. So let us write it as one, one, zero. One one zero. Now this will be one. This will be one, and this will be zero. Whatever is that input of a flip flop will reach towards the output side after fourth clock edge. Now, question: What is available at the input of each flip flop before fifth clock edge? So this one is available here. This one is available here. And what is available here? It is zero. This zero. So zero one one at the input. Zero one one at the input. Now since zero one one is at the input, before the rising edge of the clock, what will be output? It will be zero one one only. So zero one one. So let us write it zero. One, one, zero, one, one. This is going to go to output. Now, what is available at input of each flip flop before sixth clock edge? The zero will reach here. This one will reach here. One will reach here, and input last data will reach here. So, it will be one zero one. One zero one. Now one zero one at input of D two, D one, D zero respectively. What will be output after sixth clock edge? It will be one zero one. One zero one. So one zero one. So this input data is completely inserted into this network, and we have obtained output Q two, Q one, Q zero. So this is your complete output table. Now you note that input data was one zero double one zero one, one zero double one zero one. So this is same, and there is another peculiar fashion which is coming to note here. The zero is coming here. This is how data is propagating between the flip flops. So whatever is output of this. Is becoming input of this, and whatever is input of this is becoming output of this after next clock. So after each clock, the data is propagating like this. So this was about serial in parallel out shift register. This we explained using uh, this diagram, output table, and this diagram indicating what is available at input of each flip flop before rising edge of the clock, and this is our timing diagram. Thank you very much.